Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to discuss about the roadmap to become a data analyst in 2023. Now, I've been teaching from past four to five years. I've seen many of my students making a transition towards data analyst. Based on that, every year I do make sure that I create this roadmap for you so that it will help you for your learning process and quickly get into the jobs. So please make sure that you follow this roadmap because this roadmap has been designed in such a way that for the people who have actually cleared the interviews based on their suggestion what all things is required in the industry based on that i have actually prepared it so let's go without wasting any time let me share my screen to you one thing that before we start this guys please make sure that this github link i'll be putting in the description of this particular video please make sure to start it or fork it because i will keep on updating this with respect to the skills with respect to data science and data analysts, the job profiles are evolving a lot. New tools, new technologies are continuously coming up. So we need to get updated with respect to that. So in this sheet for this entire year, I'll be keep on updating it. So let's go ahead and let's try to discuss about this. First of all, with respect to a data analyst roadmap, you really need to understand what is the work of a data analyst, right? Now with respect to the work of a data analyst, let's consider that we have a data science project. First step is basically the requirement gatherings where we jot down all the requirements with respect to all the modules that we are going to develop in the data science projects. And we usually what happens is that domain expertise of product owner or business analyst, they what they do, they follow an agile process. They divide all the stories into sprints and then they probably assign the task to the developers. Once this requirement gathering is done, we send it to the data analyst and data scientist team. Now, data scientist and data analyst team, they discuss in detail with the domain expert and product owner, and they try to find out the source of the data that they really need to consider in order to solve this specific project. So a lot of discussion usually happens, and let's say that they have identified the source. They have identified internal database, cloud or third party APIs. Once this is completed, then probably it goes to the data engineering team and then the life cycle of a data science project starts. Now, with respect to a data analyst, right? What does specific data analyst do? Over here, one important step that you see that identifying the data, so the source of the data, that is one of the tasks with respect to data analyst. Now, the second task, which we basically start with the life cycle of a data science project, so data analysts perform a lot of exploratory data analysis. In EDA, they try to clean the data, they do some amount of feature engineering, and they create some amazing reports with the help of some amazing business intelligence tools like Power BI and Tableau. And these reports are basically sent to the stakeholders through which the stakeholders will be able to make some crucial business decisions. So this in turn, like when I say with respect to crucial decisions, let's say that anything needs to be launched with respect to a specific product, which all places, which all locations we need to launch a specific project. So this kind of crucial decisions are basically taken by the stakeholder. But when I try to, when we try to understand what all work specifically data analyst will do, apart from EDA, it will try to create some amazing reports. It will keep on analyzing the data, you know, and this reports that they are actually creating, these are some important reports which will actually help the business to grow. So stakeholders, obviously they cannot do ED and all, they will be dependent on the specific reports itself. So most of the tasks involves over here, your databases are also involved and all, right? Now let me go ahead and let me make you understand that what all things, what is the roadmap that you should probably follow in order to become a data analyst. So here we go. First with respect to a programming language. Now here I usually prefer two programming language. One is Python and the other one is R, right? Now Python and R programming language are like for a data analyst, both are important. Both are having some amazing libraries. At the end of the day, you are basically analyzing the data. You are probably using some various libraries from Python or R to create some visualization reports. Apart from that, you're also using some business intelligence tools like Power BI or Tableau. So with respect to programming, I think either Python or R will be more than sufficient. Let's say that you want to become a data scientist later on. I would suggest go ahead with Python because Python has some amazing libraries. And in the future, when you are planning to become a data scientist, it will also help you to build models and it will also give you the access to other libraries that are super important for machine learning and deep learning. Now coming to the next thing, after the programming language, then you have something like statistics. Now statistics is super, super, super important 
for a data analyst whenever there is a use case that involves data if you really need to do some kind of analysis like inferential analysis or uh, statistical analysis that kind of stuff right at that time you specifically need to use statistical formula within them right so statistics helps you to understand the data very well it tries to understand the meaning what the data is actually trying to portray over there what information the data is trying to give statistics will be super important in that so i have already created a playlist on python also on statistics also you can definitely follow this particular playlist right and again over here don't like there is obviously a lot of maths that is involved in statistics don't learn maths separately learn maths together in this wherever the math topic are basically coming so if you probably follow this playlist you will get a whole lot of idea with respect to that right so uh, after you probably complete statistics then you need to really focus on eda and feature engineering a lot of eda lot of analysis is basically done uh, by a data analyst to understand the data what the data is specifying to you what the data has some importance or not apart from that feature engineering handling missing values handling outliers if whether the data is out having outliers or not so this kind of task is very much commonly done by a data scientist okay so final goal outcome i have actually written over here the next very important skill set is about databases and again i usually suggest with respect to data scientists also and data analysts also two databases either one sql database no sql database so obviously i've selected mongodb and mysql so you can definitely refer this you can also follow the documentation from the specific pages so that you will be able to understand right for a data analyst the first round questions that is usually asked with respect to databases right so definitely follow databases over here and two databases you really need to complete or be very good one is mysql and mongodb let's say if you don't want to do if you do not want to do both at least focus on mysql because most of the interview questions are coming with respect to mysql right now this is the thing that i have added okay one more added thing that is etl tools right now when i talk about etl tool one of the famous tool is something called as informatica right and there are a lot of tools uh, over here you can basically see what is exactly etl suppose if i probably open this for you right so here etl basically means extract transform and load right if you probably see this diagram what does this extract transform load basically specify extract basically says that it retrieves and verifies data from various sources then process and organize the extracted data so that it can be usable and move transfer data to a data repository so that the data analyst and the data scientist can basically work. If you really want to stand out from the market, right? Before I used to not add this ETL tool, but now people who are going for the interviews, they're specifically asking about ETL tools, whether you have worked with respect to any ETL tool like Informatica, like in Power BI also you have an ETL tool. And if you really want to know more about the ETL tool, basically we have this blog, amazing blog, top etl tools over here so here you can see informatica integrate.io oracle talent luma stitch so you can probably read about that right so these are specifically different different etl tools which will actually help you to perform extract transform load of the data once the data is available let's say from the, any databases after this etl is performed you can use it as a data scientist for the model creation purpose or you can also create uh, be used by a data analyst for creating reports and strengthening to the stakeholder i used to not add this but definitely this time i'm adding because now in interviews they are specifically asking about etl tools again in iNeuron we have something called as a full stack data analytics batch you can definitely refer over here because here we also teach about etl tools and different databases like mongodb snowflake mysql power bi tableau and all okay so you can definitely check out this course if you're interested uh then we go with respect to business intelligence tools now in my case many people ask which business intelligence tool should i learn and there are two one is power bi and tableau and out of this also if you really want to just select one i would suggest power bi power bi is quite amazing uh it has so many different kind of data sources you will be able to create some amazing things in this you also have a feature of dax reports you can also create amazing reports and provide it to the stakeholder with the help of power bi and tableau right this reporting structure can be completely automated right but like taking the data from the data sources doing all the processing creating all the reports and sending that report to the stakeholder 
in a schedule wise like in a day probably in the morning in the night whenever you want to send so this entire process will be actually helpful from both power bi and tableau but if you really want to just select one and i not suggest to learn both of them and they are also business intelligence tools i'm not saying that only a couple of them are there, but this couple are very much famous and it is used hugely uh in honeywell when i was working we were specifically using top power tableau over here in eny uh we were using power bi and in panasonic also we used to use power bi so all these things are there so definitely consider using power bi because it has a lot of features now coming to the next one that is advanced excel obviously knowledge of usage of advanced excel how to create a charts how to apply formulas and all will be super important with respect to advanced excel okay now this is super important guys when i say this after learning all these things how will you be able to apply the knowledge that is real time internships now here with respect to this i'm going to talk about two people like one is college freshers right or who is in the college from third year only you start an internship right start applying in the companies understand if you are a fresh fresher you want to get into a data analytics industry the thing is that when you do internship you get that experience letter right you get that experience you get the real time experience and this real time experience counts because the interviewer will be very much interested to see this otherwise for college people usually what kind of job roles usually they go with software engineering but if you really want to go as a data scientist or data analyst do some kind of real time internship when you're still in college now for the professional people what you all can do because you don't you cannot do internship you're already working in some companies let's say if you're not working then you can definitely do internships uh so what you can do is you can create poc proof of concept projects within the company itself you are seeing some problems okay i can probably report this i can create a reported uh, things like recently i spoke with one person who is working as a sbi it manager okay and he used this power bi and tableau to probably automate the entire reports that is super important and he was getting a lot of appreciation from the bank people right so this kind of things and this is how you build experience let's say if that is good that is automating some of the things that is easing some of the task right obviously manager will say that okay make it as a full fledged project right so real time internships you can basically do but again if you if you let's say for the college people you're not getting internships anyway just go ahead and check out internship.inron.ai here join the internship with respect to data analyst work a lot of business use cases are there solve it you'll get the offer letter and you'll also get the experience letter after submitting the project okay so here it is and finally i would like to talk about the best affordable data science course from pw skills uh, uh we are if let's say you want a lot of hand holding you want advice you want down clearing sessions you want guidance in each and every step you want mock interviews resume and all we are coming up with this affordable course from pw skills which the price is just 3500 rupees and this course will be available for 2 years you should definitely see out this uh very very affordable guys so if you want this and definitely check it out the specific course but i hope i gave you the entire idea with respect to the road map here etl tool is super important if you really want to stand out from all the other people i would suggest have the knowledge of etl tool i would suggest just start with informatica okay that will be more than sufficient so i hope you like this particular video this was it from my side i'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you one all bye bye